The industry we're in, the video, the IP delivered video advertising space is changing uh, very fast. And that is, you know, we're all working very hard to, to keep up to date with um, all the changes that's going on, both on a macro level and, and on other levels. So, you know, the ecosystem very often turns to us, our clients, our prospects, our partners, asking us, you know, what do we, what do we um, believe will happen in the market? You know, they ask us for data, um, they ask for commentary around uh, relevant topics in the industry. And this is really the reason behind why we've done this research. The first thing we did was looking at um, the, t the TV ad spend and how that's been evolving. So if you look at uh, TV ad spend from 2010 towards uh, 2015, um, the ad growth is flatlining. So if you look at the European market, uh, it's a compound annual growth rate of 1.4%. In the US, it will be slightly higher, 2.5%. Two, two so what this really means is that um, broadcasters need to find growth elsewhere than in the, the TV ad advertising market. Um, so if that's as a, an, an initial conclusion. Uh, secondary, we've looked at the explosion of connected video devices out there. Um, so we've looked at uh, a number of groups of connected devices. First of all, we looked at the living room connected devices, which is set-top boxes, games consoles, uh, connected TVs, and connected Blu-rays. Um, we've also then looked at um, personal devices, tablets, and smartphones. And we've also looked at PC households and then compared all of that together uh, with uh, TV households. And what you can see there is that already this year, the number of connected video devices uh, outnumber the number of TV households. Uh, and the second thing you can see that there's a massive tipping point happening 2012 in the explosion of these uh, new connected devices. So if you as a, as a broadcaster or media owner uh, is proactive and, and deliver your content and, and build out attractive propositions on these devices, the consumer demand is there. And the, these number of devices is a first indication of how consumers are changing their, their behavior. They're demanding content through these IP delivered devices. So you can expect audiences to gradually shift from consuming video on a broadcasted, from broadcasted model to an IP delivered model. You need to have a proper strategy and that goes all the way from the top at a board level down to the operational level. And there's four strategies that you need to define. So the first one is that you need to have a content strategy. And you know, if, you, if you're a broadcaster, you have that set, you have all this content produced for your broadcast uh, channels and you can use that. There's obviously other content strategies which can be you know, around syndication, aggregation, and around user-generated content, for example. The second thing is you need a device strategy. And here we talk about the fact that you need to be both device committed and device agnostic. So when it comes to the actual consumer proposition, you need to be very committed, very focused on building a user experience committed to that device or platform that you're, you're building towards. So you need, a very, you need to be committed to the iPad and build the best proposition there. You need to be committed to the uh, smart, smart TV and build a proposition that makes sense for consumers for that device. On the other hand, when it comes to the advertising, you need to almost do the opposite. You need to make sure that you can gather uh, all the different audiences that you have and build them into one device agnostic proposition for the advertisers. Advertising is a business of scale and um, you know, the only way to, to successfully monetize this at this point is to, to aggregate and sell one audience. Um, the third strategy you need is a distribution strategy. Uh, so on, on one hand you need to be very promiscuous around distribution. So you need to make sure that your content is available wherever the consumers are. Not only on the devices as we just talked about but also on the different uh, aggregation points. Um, so make sure your content is everywhere, however, you need to make sure that you maintain the control over your distribution points. So on the other hand, you're very conservative when it comes to uh, the advertising sales. So you want to make sure that uh, advertisers can only buy your inventory from you. Um, so that's how you protect your brand and, and your, your overall, um, the, the value of your content. And fourth, uh, you know, if you look at the actual fragmentation in this market, 
um, you, need a, you, know, you need a technology strategy. If you think about the broadcast world, you pretty much have one broadcast signal, you send that out towards terrestrial, cable and satellite, and you're kind of done. Um, in the IP delivery world, it's very different. You need to have, you need to be committed to all these different devices. There's, uh, all devices are constantly being upgraded. So the, the cost of staying on top of all these different technologies and all these different user experiences is very high and no media company can really afford to single-handedly tackle all these challenges and build out the, the technology needed in order to support this. So the only way forward is really to, um, to split the cost uh, of this, you know, both from a technology and an expertise perspective uh, t uh, between the different media owners. And that is obviously done through third parties. It's going to be very exciting to see how the market develops in the 12, 24 coming months. Um, we believe the big you know, tipping point in terms of the, the infrastructure is there. Um, publishers and broadcasters are investing heavily. Um, and you know, if, you're not, if you're not investing accordingly, you risk not only to leave money on the table, but to potentially even lose out on, on the position that you have.